Listen and practice. We didn't really want to move because we loved our apartment. We had a wonderful landlady too. She didn't raise the rent for years, and if anything was broken, she would get it fixed really fast. But with the children getting older, we needed to be closer to a good school. So that's why we moved. Now we live in an apartment in the suburbs. Listen and practice. My new apartment has a huge kitchen and a great stove. I'm really happy about it. I love to cook and have parties, but the kitchen in my old place was so tiny, and the dining room was small too. The location was good, but I could never have people over for dinner, so I needed to find something different. Listen and practice. It's a great place to stay. The atmosphere is so glamorous and exciting. There are bright lights at the front door, and people always arrive in really expensive cars. The rooms are really beautiful too. Of course, it's not the cheapest hotel in Miami, but it's definitely the best. Listen and practice. I'm reading a story about a parrot that saved two people's lives. A man and his son fell asleep on the couch watching a movie. While they were sleeping, their house caught on fire. They woke up suddenly when they heard their parrot imitating a smoke alarm. Apparently, their smoke alarm did go off, but it wasn't loud enough to wake them up. Listen and practice. Wow, did you hear about the twin sisters that were separated at birth? They were adopted by different families when they were babies and grew up in different cities. 
But after high school, they both attended the same college. They figured out they were twins. They were even in the same class. Listen and practice. Earth's crust. Earth is round, like an orange. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. We call this skin Earth's crust. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Earth's crust has different pieces. These pieces move very, very slowly. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. Listen and practice. A volcano is a hole in Earth's crust. When a volcano erupts, hot rock flies out from under the ground, and melted rock pours out over the ground. Volcanoes under the ocean sometimes make new islands. In 1963, a volcano in the Atlantic Ocean made a new island called Surtsey. There are many different rocks in Earth's crust. They are millions of years old. The rocks are often different colors. In the painted desert in Arizona, in the USA, you can see the different rocks.
Listen and practice. You can't please everyone. One day, Nasruddin wanted to take his young son into town. You can ride the donkey, he told his son, and I'll walk next to you. So, Nasruddin's son got on the donkey, and they started down the road into town. A little while later, Nasruddin and his son came across some people on the road. The people looked at the boy on the donkey with disapproval. One person said, Look at that healthy young boy. Can you believe today's young people? They have no respect for their parents. That boy rides on the donkey and his poor father has to walk. When the boy heard this, he was very unhappy. He asked his father to ride the donkey instead of him. So, Nasruddin got on the donkey and the boy walked next to him. Soon, they met another group of people on the road. One person said, Well, look at that. That poor boy has to walk while his father rides the donkey. After the people walked away, Nasruddin told his son to get on the donkey with him. No one can criticise us now, he said. But soon they met two old men on the road. The men looked at Nasruddin and his son with disapproval. That poor donkey looks very tired, one of the men said. Nasruddin stopped the donkey and got off. Then he said to his son, The best thing is for both of us to walk. Then no one can criticise us. So Nasruddin and his son walked down the road and the donkey walked behind them. Soon, they met some more people on the road. One person said, Just look at those fools. Both of them are walking in this hot weather, and no one is riding the donkey. How stupid they are! Nasruddin looked at his son and said, You can't please everyone.
Listen and practice. You can't please everyone. One day, Nasruddin wanted to take his young son into town. You can ride the donkey, he told his son, and I'll walk next to you. So, Nasruddin's son got on the donkey, and they started down the road into town. A little while later, Nasruddin and his son came across some people on the road. The people looked at the boy on the donkey with disapproval. One person said, Look at that healthy young boy. Can you believe today's young people? They have no respect for their parents. That boy rides on the donkey and his poor father has to walk. When the boy heard this, he was very unhappy. He asked his father to ride the donkey instead of him. So, Nasruddin got on the donkey and the boy walked next to him. Soon, they met another group of people on the road. One person said, Well, look at that. That poor boy has to walk while his father rides the donkey. After the people walked away, Nasruddin told his son to get on the donkey with him. No one can criticise us now, he said. But soon they met two old men on the road. The men looked at Nasruddin and his son with disapproval. That poor donkey looks very tired, one of the men said. Nasruddin stopped the donkey and got off. Then he said to his son, The best thing is for both of us to walk. Then no one can criticise us. So Nasruddin and his son walked down the road and the donkey walked behind them. Soon, they met some more people on the road. One person said, Just look at those fools. Both of them are walking in this hot weather, and no one is riding the donkey. How stupid they are! Nasruddin looked at his son and said, You can't please everyone.